Hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is your next 48. This is episode May 1 and 2 for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Let's see what the messages are for you, Virgo. Okay. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. What are the messages for Virgo? All right, Virgo, one more shuffle. Let's see. All right, Virgo, we have the Nine of Wands coming out in the reverse, though, so that's good. We have the Hierophant, and we have the Seven of Swords, okay? So it looks like you could have been worried. Maybe you were worried that somebody was lying to you, but you're being relieved. Like, it's like you're being relieved. Like, they're not lying. I'm getting also two, I have to say this, um, the Nine of Wands upright to me is nine months pregnant because if you look at the person's back, it looks like a, babe, a woman's belly. So maybe you're finding out that you're not pregnant after all. Maybe you thought you were, and you're actually not. All right, that could be a case. That could be something for some of you. But I'm getting your your stress is being alleviated. Maybe somebody is coming clean. What's the nine of wands? We do have yeah, we have the queen of cups under there. So it could be a water sign. Definitely water, Cancer, Piscean, or Scorpio. All right, so let's see. What's the nine of wands? It's almost like where you were feeling small or low or beat up. It's like that's being turned around. Somebody's somebody's going to commit to you. Someone's like, look, I'm going to stop lying to you. I'm going to stop hurting you. I'm going to stop making you feel small. I'm going to stop being mean. All right, so it's like somebody is like reassuring you that it's going to be okay. They're not going to hurt you anymore, Virgo. They're not going to stress you out. They're not going to belittle you anymore. This is what they're telling you. You may not believe them, but they are like, look, please believe me. I promise. All right, so I'm getting, I'm getting like somebody is begging you to like, you know, please hear me out. I will, I will take care of you. I'll be, I'll be nicer to you, Virgo. And you might not believe them, but, you know, because the Seven of Swords is here. Okay, so they could be lying. I don't know who we, we're going to see. But I'm getting they do love you. They may be a little bit confused, Virgo. But they do. the love is there. They may be like, I don't know if I should believe them or not. They, they always say that to me. They, they always lie to me like this. But we're going to see. What's the Seven of Swords? Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords. Now, they may, they may be confused to why you're even feeling this way. Maybe they just have a hard time understanding you, Virg. All right, I'm not giving, I'm not saying I agree with them, but we're going to see what the Seven of Swords is. I'm just saying. What's the Seven of Swords? Yeah, we have the Five, we have the five of Cups and we have the Four of Swords. Yeah, because, so they're actually, they're very regretful, Virgo. I, whatever they said to you, they regret saying it. So if you guys had an argument, maybe they said some mean things to you or they just flat out lied to your face, they're, apolo they're, they're, they're apologetic. Now they may not tell you how much they regret this, and that's the thing. That's what they're hiding. They don't. They're not. They're not going to tell you how much they regret. You know, just not doing anything. But they are going to say, "Hey, I will, I, will, I will be better." But they may not say, "Hey, I regret doing this." They may not say that to you, but you see, the card is there. All right. So I'm getting this person is actually taking heed to what you say. You may not think they are, but they are listening to you. And I'm getting when they don't, when they make you feel small, they are regretful. Now, you might say, fuck them or whatever, but I'm just showing you what the cards are showing me. All right, so what's the, what's the Hierophant? What's the Hierophant? Please. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, they want to be more nurturing because here you are. They're sitting here. This, this person is sitting here like, look, let me show you I can be better. Because here you're sitting here, Virgo, looking at your coin. You're like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, what's the nine of wands? Look at you, Virgo, looking, looking Virgo-licious. Okay, let's see. What's the nine of wands in the reverse? Nine of wands in the reverse, please. Okay, the star card. See, you have hope. You, you know, you, you believe in them. You know, you still love them too. You believe that they can, they can change, they can do better. Let them, they want to prove it to you with the page of pentacles. They want to, they you know, I think this person thinks you're very attractive. They're, they're, they have a lot of passion for you. All right. But I'm getting this person wants to prove to you that they, they can be committed. They can be in a committed relationship. They can do better. I'm, I'm getting you want to believe them. You really want to believe them, but you need proof. You're like, look, I need proof that you're, I mean, you always, I, you saying it. Somebody is telling you this, but I'm getting, you want proof. Like, show me. Like, stop telling me that you're going to do better and show me that I need tangible proof that you're going to be a better person. So that's what you, you're asking them. Like, look, I can't believe you until I see proof. You're not really showing me anything that, that, Backs up your words here. All right, so what's the Four of Swords? What's the Four of Swords? Four of Swords. What's the Four of Swords? Yeah, the King of the uh, Knight of Cups. 
okay? So it looks like this is someone that you could have taken a break from maybe four months ago, or maybe you haven't spoken in like four days, or you guys have just been at odds. They're, this person is apologetic. They may not they may not say all this to you because we have the Seven of Swords. It's almost like, but you see the cards. They are very remorseful. They're sorry. They may say, hey, I apologize. Can we start over? But they're not going to say how sorry they are, how much they, they, they actually feel hurt or whatever. So you may be dealing with like a macho, someone who's very macho, tourist, someone who's very fixed. Could be a tourist, could be an Aquarian. They're both fixed signs. So it may be, especially if it's an Aquarian, it may be hard for them to actually say, you know, I messed up. I, you know, I do love you. So they may have a hard time expressing their love or expressing their feelings to you. If it's an Aquarian, especially. If it's a tourist, it's like they're stubborn. They're not gonna, they're not gonna show you, you know, but they are remorseful. You may, you may want to see the you might want to see them cry, like cry. I want to see you cry, beg. You know, you may want to see that. You know, but you know, they may be willing to do that. What's the, what are you doing, Virgo? What's the Queen of Pentacles? I'm getting, even if the proof is them crying, you wanna see that. Okay, whatever. What's the Queen of Pentacles? Queen of Pentacles. You want to see some type of vulnerability? What's the Queen of Pentacles, please? What are you doing, Bird? What are you doing? Yeah, the Three of Cups. Yeah, so you're somebody had you in a third party situation. Period. You know, flirting with people in your face or just not listening to you when you say, "Hey, I don't like that. That hurts me. Please stop doing that." They just they just refuse to do it. They didn't they didn't listen to you. All right. They maybe they belittled you, made you feel small, or like you didn't or like. You were wrong for saying, hey, I don't like that. Somebody like probably, you know, how dare you say, you know, it's like you spoke your mind and somebody came at you crazy because you were feeling belittled. All right. So it could have been, it could have been an Aquarian who was just completely oblivious to human emotion. All right. But it's, it's almost like this person is, is like, they're, they're tapping into their emotional body now. All right. Somebody wants to reconcile. They are sorry. Okay. What's the Aquarius? What's the star card? Where's the star? It's like somebody had a it's like somebody had a long time to think about their lies, their actions. You know, they took you for granted, Virgo. It's like somebody wants to be your knight in shining armor. Okay, what's the what's the star card? It could be it could be somebody who it could be somebody who's celebrated or a celebrity figure or somebody who's very influential. Okay, what's the star card? What's the star card? Okay, the death card. They changed. I'm getting, I'm getting, you've changed too. You don't have, you don't have hope in this anymore. You don't believe in this anymore that you're done. I, I'm getting, you did have faith. You did have hope, but now that hope is gone. I'm also getting too, this could be somebody looking at you this way, Virgo. Like maybe, maybe somebody thought that you were a huge flirt. You, you flirted with, you flirt with everybody. You have all these third parties. And this could have been an air sign who kind of like, who kind of backed off of you because you're a huge flirt. And they they kind of they kind of took a break on you because you refused to listen to them. You choose what side you're on. But I'm getting that that hope that you had, it's gone. It's I mean, what's the death card? It could be changing. We'll see. What's the death card? I'm getting you don't see this person the same way at all. It's hard for you to see them in that respectful light anymore because if they they just hurt you too many times. What's the what's the uh or they just they just they lie too much. It's always, you know, that you believe them, you let them back in and it ends up being a lie. It was all a lie. They, they, they end up cheating on you again. They end up getting you back in a third party again. It just keeps happening. I don't see the devil card, but it's like the nine of wands. It's almost like you're relieved, but it's like you're relieved because you don't care anymore. What's the death card? What's the death card? Or somebody is really trying to change. Somebody, somebody is trying to change their ways. They want to prove it to you. What's the death card? Yeah, the king of cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay. I'm getting you could be dealing with two people here. Okay. I'm getting, I'm getting there's two people that maybe want to prove their love to you. Maybe both of them took you for granted. I'm getting two. There's a lot of water here. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. But I'm also getting Aquarius twice. All right. So you could be dealing with several people who actually are, who are coming at you, Virgo. Yeah, because you're sexy, you're flirty. All right. A lot of people, a lot of people see you as a, a possible dating candidate. People want to date you. All right, we're going to leave it there. Okay, so hopefully the reading helps. You don't forget to like the video, leave your comments, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.